Hello everybody, I'm Nick and welcome to another episode of Code Cop, the series where we go over questionable advice given usually on places like LinkedIn, Twitter or blogs and we try to turn it into good advice. However, today's advice is really, really hard to turn into something good. I think it's irredeemable on every single level and it actually made me genuinely mad because, well, it is quite frankly Terrible advice and holy C sharp how many people actually said, yeah, that's a good advice. <laughs> so in this video, I want to bring that into your attention because please don't follow this. If you like that content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training. Check out my courses on dometrain.com. Okay, so what is the advice and why am I being crazy today? Well, it's because I saw this. So C sharp tip, convert enums to tiny int or byte. Now, why is tiny int used here and not the word byte? I'll explain in a second, but as you can see, what the person is showing here is that you can actually make an enum appear like it's extending a byte, and that basically changes its type. And the obvious outcome of this is that now these numbers here, the numbers of the enums, represent a byte and not an integer, even though you can still cast them back and forth to those types because they can be converted. However, this means that the size of the enum value, it is not four bytes, it is one byte because, well, an integer in a 64-bit system is 32 bits, while a byte is a... I'm not going to explain memory in this video, it doesn't matter. What matters is the advice given here that you should not use the default of an integer, instead you should go ahead and optimize your enums by making them be bytes. Now let's take a look at the text accompanying this image because context matters. So the text is this, C sharp tip. Convert enums to byte. The default data type for enums when creating a table is int, which may not be the most efficient option. So immediately you turn this C sharp tip into a SQL server tip, because now we're talking about tables and databases, which is not presented in here at all, other than the fact you use tiny int for byte, which is only one way of representing numbers in SQL Server. You have many, many, many other databases that can work with enums and different data types, and you just use one. So what the hell? At least explain that you're doing this over here because this is a database thing and not really a C sharp thing. And then it continues that most enums only contain a few values, storing them into integer columns, waste space, as each in column reserves 32 bits. Sure. Yes. Okay, so what you're saying is that you've reached that level of optimization of your SQL server where everything containing a string and bytes and everything has proper limits, proper indexes, proper everything, everything is optimized so perfectly that you're like, oh, I need to squeeze some more space. And where do you land? Oh. I'm going to turn my integers into bytes. So what you're saying as well, because that's the type of level of optimization you're going for, is that on every column that you're storing a number, you're starting with a byte, then you have alerts to let you know you're reaching the limit of 255, and then you go ahead and you increase it to a short, and then you go from a short to an integer, and then, come on! In C sharp, byte is an immutable value type that accepts values in the range of 0 to... What do you mean immutable value type? Value types are the value itself. Like, uh, uh, why does this bother me so much? SQL Server has a matching type, the tiny int data type, and this allows for more efficient storage of enum values. So you're saying that by using a byte for an enum, which by the way, I should point out, is a very uncommon type. You don't really see many, 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 many enums. You will save three bytes per usage on what? Your gigabytes of storage? Like, what are you storing? Just enums? What is happening? How is this real advice? And what infuriates me is not just the content, is also the reaction, the... Oh my God, I did not expect it. Let's take a look at some comments. But wow, that's too depressing. Why don't I just brighten the mood a bit by letting you know we just launched a brand new course on Dome Train called From Zero to Hero, Kubernetes for Developers. Expert educator Dan Clark comes back after his Docker for Developers course to teach us how to use Kubernetes. And oh my God, is that course fantastic. It is actually how I refresh my memory in Kubernetes and I learned quite a few more things. Dan takes you from knowing nothing about Kubernetes all the way into actually being able to run and deploy things in production. So I highly recommend you check that course. And the first 200 of you can use discount code 
cube 20 at checkout for 20 percent off don't miss this opportunity these do go very quickly now back to misery wow storing an integer just for a small range of zero to five away bothered me i can guarantee you that i can just walk into any of your code base or any of your database and i will find so so much waste of memory you can't even one one fix i will find one fix on anything in your code that fixing that will make more of a difference on a running time of a year for your application than you ever wasting three bytes for that byte debate. Then another glorious one, every bit counts. Well, yeah, if you're sending people to Mars, probably, but even then they're running Python for that helicopter, don't they? So I don't think that even for that every bit counts. Like we, we have, me we'll be fine, guys. We have memory. But this one by far is my favorite because it reads oh, okay so this is a comment right and the reply is absolutely utilizing the tiny int data type in sql server for enum values is indeed a smart optimization it not only conserves storage space but also enhances efficiency especially when dealing with enums that encompass a limited range of values this approach aligns perfectly with the principle of using the most for the hand now if you're paying attention this certainly sounds a bit robotic. So I'm curious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste all this text and then I'm going to go to ChatGVT and I'm going to say, write me a reply for a linked in post that has this content. And I'm going to just paste the text. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely, spot on. Enum times with limited value types indeed benefit greatly from being stored. Like, tell me how this does not read the exact same way i can 100 percent guarantee you that this person and by the way from what i've seen many many people do this they come to chat gpt they just post the text and generate replies to drive engagement and i'm also very very certain that most of the posts themselves are ai generated holy shit! is linkedin a terrible place to get advice seriously don't get any of your advice on linkedin and by the way do you know who also doesn't do this Microsoft, like you can go in their code bases, like the .NET runtime itself, the SDK or so on, the CLI, and you will see that they don't do this. Like you have things like build platform for the CLI. And yeah, okay, this is not something that needs to be optimized like very tightly, but even then, couldn't they just use a byte here? Yeah, they could. Well, they didn't. Couldn't they use a byte, let's say here? Couldn't they use a byte here, 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 here? everywhere yeah they didn't do that and they didn't do it because it's just it's dumb yeah if something is like absolutely vital any emergency level of performance critical then maybe you'll find it maybe some json serializer has it for example but please 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 don't do this this is the most infuriated i've been in this series and actually having seen other posts from that profile i think i'm gonna be more infuriated in the future and thank you for sending this, by the way. This is coming from a suggestion from you. So if you have posts like this, please message me on LinkedIn or email me or whatever. And I will put this into a video because we have to start calling these things out publicly. We cannot just have advice like this being seen by starters because they're going to just start writing bad code. But what do you think? What do you think about this advice? Am I on the wrong here? Am I on the right? Please let me know in the comments down below. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.